Hello, welcome to the two week vlog. It is now Monday and we're leaving for vacation on Thursday. So I kind of started organizing clothing and stuff to get packed today, but I just had a Target order arrive. They had a Labor Day sale, 30% off. So I got some 3T clothing for Phoebe, but also I got her a dress for a wedding that we just got invited to in October. That's not <laughs> delivered because of course they split my order into three orders. But I wanted to open this right now because I wanna get some of this stuff in the washing machine. This one, I was very excited. I've kind of had this on my loves list waiting for it to go on sale and it says, there with me. It's like a little shirt from Encanto. This is a little sunflower shirt. I've actually had this on my loves since I think this one became available this past spring and I finally got it. That's Mario. This one, there was a bunch of different patterns, but I decided to go with the little colorful polka dots. And then I did grab one pair of 2T sweatpants because mid last winter, I realized we never bought sweatpants. So I wanted to get a pair now. I don't think we had the black pair last year, but we had the same exact Cat and Jack pair in pink and gray, but I just grabbed one. She doesn't wear sweatpants that often. Mainly she wears leggings, but I liked having these to throw under a pair of snow pants last year. And that's it. Ooh. Phoebe has really been putting me through the ringer, especially today. Her emotions are wild. As far as packing goes, I basically have all of our clothing packed, which is mainly the bulk of what needs to be packed. It's more like the little, like, the little things and food. I've started making like a pile of stuff that needs to get packed, but I just need to like figure out how I wanna organize it. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna go food shopping and try to get some food for vacation. We're just staying in a little motel, but there is like a kitchenette. My mom used the word kitchenette. So there's a full refrigerator and there's like a stove top. I'm very tired. I told Scott, convince me to stay awake and not go to sleep. And he said, let's make cookies. So that's why I'm awake right now. Good morning. I just got back from the supermarket. Food is everywhere. Mainly stuff I have to pack for vacation. The shelves were questionable today. It was very hard for me, especially to find like store brand stuff. So I felt like I was buying a lot of like name brand stuff just because like, I felt like beggars couldn't be choosers today. I'm making some breakfast. Phoebe is at my parents today. I just need a day right now to just put my head down and get a bunch of stuff done. And I am going to take a shower after I eat breakfast and then kind of tackle a whole list of projects I gotta get done today. I have spent my day sweating and packing, but I thought I'd give you a little tour of how we're doing here. There's still much to be done. I'm gonna try to go outside and show you guys how I have the back of the car set up. It still needs to be vacuumed out. Scott's gonna <laughs> vacuum it out later, but I wanted to get like an idea of, I'm putting my shoes on, how I was setting it up. Is it raining? Because if it's raining, we're gonna have to hold off on this. Oh, it is raining, so I'm just gonna run to the car really quick and just sit in the back. Oh, okay. All right, so in the car. This is the car seat. We have a rotating car seat, so it's rotated. So I have her old diaper caddy here with snacks, diaper change stuff, hand wipes, a couple toys. Down here I have a bag of books and I have this behind the seat situation here with more toys. Ideally, the ride there. She should be napping most of the ride. I don't know how long that was so. She doesn't love being in the car. We also have a tablet, but she has that right now because she's in the car with Scott. I'm gonna run back in and then show you more stuff. Okay, right here by the door, I just like, I re, I emptied out my purses. So I have like a regular like cross body bag, but I also have this bag that I got last year at Target and it's more like a one shoulder backpack purse for when I know I'm gonna be holding Phoebe to make it a little easier. Haven't figured out what diapers I'm packing or anything yet, but I have this backpack here that I'm packing with like bathing suits and sunscreen in case we get there and the room isn't ready and we wanna like go swim or something. So that's our just in case bag. Let me take you to the garage. All of the things that were in the garage, I just have them pushed to the front of the garage. So what we're taking is our red rider wagon. We have a beach umbrella with a big shovel, the bag of sand toys, baby powder to get sand off. And this is her travel high chair, which can also be a beach chair, but we're not taking it for that purpose. We're not bringing our own beach chairs because my parents have extra beach chairs and they're gonna be bringing us beach chairs because we are going with just my parents, just gonna be the five of us. Now the rest of everything packed is up here on the landing of the steps, AKA a place that Phoebe doesn't really get into. So it is crazy. So suitcases with clothes, towels, I have like first aid and like Clorox wipes, Phoebe's dishes and stuff. 
There's toys. This is like activities and stuff for Phoebe. Food, 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 tush baby, blackout curtain. One of the blankets and pillows we'll be taking. This is for like if she's doing art, something for her to put it on. This back here is a blow up toddler mattress. That is something new for this trip. We've never tried it before. It's essentially like two inflatable pieces. One is like inflates into like a bed and then there's a mattress in the middle. It's the same size as like her crib mattress because it's a toddler bed. And like the walls are raised so like she can't roll out of it. <laughs> I don't know how it's gonna go. But let me just say something. There's so much more that still needs to be packed with either A. I can't pack it yet. No, that's really the only option. I just can't pack it yet. Stuff like dishes that aren't clean yet until tomorrow morning. I can't pack the diaper bag because Phoebe's not here. The cold food, we're gonna be putting in at least one or two coolers. I haven't like, well, my like makeup and stuff, my makeup and skincare and stuff are packed, but like they're not like officially packed. I have to like bring them all down in the morning. It's just like chaos. Is it worth going on a vacation if you have to pack? So we got back from vacation yesterday. It was a lot. I honestly might just make a like get ready with me video kind of talking about our experience because we're both mentally and physically exhausted right now. So just letting you guys know I'm back. Saturday is Scott's birthday. So happy birthday week to Scott. So today he actually has to go renew his license. That's the big plan for today. <laughs> I'm still doing laundry, unpacking all the chaos. But yeah, cheers. We survived vacation. So the lighting is not great ideal at all right now. Let me open a window. <laughs> That's a little better. So while we were away, the dress that I got Phoebe for the wedding we're going to next month came. So it's like an afternoon, like luncheon kind of thing. So this is the dress I got her. My thing was like the weather in fall here can be very iffy. So at least with short sleeves, like if we have to throw something over it, we can. And if it's hot, she doesn't need to wear tights. If it's colder, she can wear tights. And then we got these shoes last week at Target to go with it. Um, unfortunately, the shoes, I guess, are out of season, so they're not available anymore, but I thought that would be really, really cute. Good morning. It's been a rough couple days. It's been challenging. We're at quite an age right now. Phoebe's on her way to my parents' house this morning, and I was gonna take a shower, and I was like, you know what? Can't remember the last time I did a mask. My face, it's not doing great. I don't know if it's the vacation, the stress, but I remembered I do have this one open, the honey potion from pharmacy. So I'm gonna on my face and I'm gonna fold some laundry while I mask and then I'm gonna take my shower. I've been intermediately like folding laundry and doing other stuff, but I just finished physically folding all the laundry and now I have to put it away. And I hate putting it away so much more than I hate folding it. I would fold all day long. To me, that's like the easy part. It's the putting it away that I really, really hate. What kind of laundry person are you? I have decided to do something a bit impromptu before I start putting my laundry away. And if you watched my like clothing, my big declutter, Mario, you know, I am feeling very burdened by things in my life. And this drawer down here, the largest drawer that I have is packed to the brim with socks. I don't know if I've ever done a sock declutter, but I haven't bought socks in forever but I always reach for the exact same pairs constantly. I hate that whenever I do my laundry, I'm like shoving the socks in here, trying to make room for the socks that I actually wear. So I'm going to fully empty this out and do a big sock purge. So say goodbye to socks. <laughs> Oh my, time for a major declutter. Okay, so here is like the discard pile. And I mean, I still have a lot of socks, but this isn't like to the point where like I can't close the drawer. And I have a combination of like you know, ankle socks, crew socks. There's some, a couple fuzzy socks. I tried not to keep too many fuzzy socks. I don't wear them frequently enough in the winter time where like I need like a stash of them. Like I can have like two or three pairs and be good for the winter. So 
I feel very good right now. I just washed my makeup brushes after way too long of not doing them and my hands feel so dry and pruney that I was like, I'm not doing the sponges today. Like I need to give the ladies a little bit of a break. I'm making dinner right now. It's like a French onion chicken casserole thing that I found on Pinterest. I just washed Phoebe's newer Crocs. I don't know if they'll fit her yet. I found these at our local thrift shop, but they're these little Mickey Mouse ones. They're a size seven and she's just in between like a five and six right now. Like she can wear kind of both sizes at this point. So they might be a little too big on her, but I kind of like size them up next to the size six and then they seem very similar in size. So. Anyway, to clean Crocs, I just soak them in dish soap and water and then just rinse them clean and yeah, they're fine. <laughs> She did get her COVID-19 vaccine yesterday. So I think she's a little bit off today because of that. She hasn't really been eating much for my mom. So I have a feeling she's not gonna eat any dinner tonight, which will be great. Like I said earlier in the video, it is Scott's birthday weekend. So tomorrow we're going to be making these apple oatmeal cookies together, egg free, of course. And I don't know if we have anything else planned for tomorrow, but he does have plans that he wants to do on his birthday on Saturday. And I'm gonna see if I can get Phoebe to make him a card. She made him a card at my mom's house today, but I kind of like prepped a card working station. If we can get some alone time away from Scott, we'll have to see if that's possible because I don't really have much time left before his birthday and he's gonna be home tomorrow. So we'll see what we can do. So we did make the apple cookies this morning. They're not very cookie-ish, but they do taste good. They're just like a very soft consistency because it's mainly apples. And Phoebe and I were able to make her dad a birthday card. Do you wanna say hi? Are you busy? I have no idea what we're doing the rest of the day. Hey Phoebe, did we make cookies today? Yeah, Figaro, right? Do you want to show everyone? We went to the mall for daddy's birthday pretzel. Boom. You want to help me open the bag? We went to the mall for the first time for Phoebe and a toy store for the first time for Phoebe. So what did we get? We got princess stickers and princess color forms. Phoebe really likes her Minnie Mouse color forms. We got stickers and we got a book that has Phoebe's three new favorite movies, Tangled, Finding Nemo, and Cars. Yeah, we got some pretty cool princess stickers, right? <laughs> yeah. You love stickers, don't you? We're very sticker crazy lately. I love you. Bye-bye. Good morning. It is Scott's birthday today. They're at the playground and Phoebe gave him two cards she made, one here, one of my parents' house. And then I got her a new assistant to the regional manager shirt to match him again, because her old one was like a 12 month onesie. So they're matching, maybe I'll try to get some matching footage today. We're going to a local park that we've actually never been to later, meeting one of Scott's friends. And tonight his sister and brother-in-law are coming over for dinner. We're getting takeout from a place we really like. And that's the plan. 33. He's finally caught up to me again. So I wanted to wrap this vlog up talking about something I got on Amazon. It actually was a two pack but I wanted to get back into planning, but I didn't really want a planner. And I started watching bullet journaling content and found the concept of bullet journaling very satisfying, but I didn't feel like I could commit to learning how to actually bullet journal. So I just wanted to get some plain notebooks. I've let, named this one Life because this is going to be my life from now on. And I just wanted to give like a shot at like doing the last three months in here. So this is nowhere near like professional bullet journaling, but. I basically made a calendar of the rest of the year. And then the next page has my pans of the year that I am keeping. Then I also have year end goals, which is something I wanted to put in here. So I have three goals that I want to try to accomplish before the end of the year. They're hefty goals. I was talking about them with Scott and he says they're like good goals to try to accomplish. They're all house projects. And then for October here, I kind of just Wanted to keep track of dates and things we have to do. I also started a to film list. And then I just kind of made a little calendar within here. I just felt like if I got a, another planner, my issue with planners was like, as soon as you forget to keep track of them, like all those pages that are like pre-filled out, like you lose them. 
but I just wanted something blank where even if I fall off the horse, I can get back on and jump back where I left off. I probably will be modifying it through the months based on what I like and don't like from at least October. I don't know, is this content you like to watch? Because I can, next time I update this, film the process. This was very much like me, like trying to figure out what I wanna do. So let me know if you guys like planner content. But yeah, I'm gonna close out the vlog here. Scott and Phoebe are at his mom's house right now. Last night, Scott's sister and brother-in-law came over for dinner. This week we have Tuesday, a farm trip with my mom. Saturday, we have our local community day, which we at least are gonna take Phoebe because there will be like animals there. And then next Sunday, we're going to a different farm with Scott's sister. Also this week, I have, I'm going to go to our local thrift shop. They had a big event this past weekend where they put out all their winter gear. I don't know what's gonna be left by the time I get there on Thursday. So maybe I'll be able to get her some winter gear. They also need to find a dress because we have a wedding to attend next month. And so far only Phoebe has something to wear. So this week, this week is gonna be a busy one coming up. So thanks for stopping by this double week, double whammy vlog.